Hi, this is Rick here and welcome to Digital Fortress. Uh, in today's video, I'm doing a live stream to talk about how to prevent the scams on Cardano, like the ones that you have on Ethereum. And the best way to prevent those scams is to, to call them out, you know, call them out on social media, call them out on YouTube, like I'm doing here. Because uh, what you got to do is keep an eye out for accumulating evidence. If there's accumulating evidence that something could be a scam, it's probably a scam. Now, it's really hard to get in the books of an organization to find out if they're, you know, a scam. It's very hard to, you know, clearly identify if something is, is a scam or not. But if there's accumulating evidence that it's a scam, and if it looks and smells like a scam, it's probably a scam. And it is kind of hard to call them out. Um, what I mean by it's hard to call them out, and I'll give you, this, give you some examples. The corporate entities that are out there and the high-level entities, they have um, business relationships to protect. They have clients to protect. And it's very difficult for them to call something a scam because then they'll scare off other business partners or other potential clients and they'll say, oh, wait a second, they go and they call other people scams, so why would I want to do business with them? So it's kind of up to you and me, the little guys, the holders and the traders. So I'm here to look out for you guys. I'm not here to look out for the big corporations. I'm not here to look out for their clients and the relationships. I'm here to look out for the holders and the traders, guys like you and me, buying some crypto, and there's scams out there. And I compared it to Ethereum because, man, there were a lot of scams on Ethereum. I lost a lot of money on some little shit coins out there. I really did. Well, I shouldn't say a lot. I always played it on the safer side, so I kept my trades lower. I'll give you an example. Spade was one of them. I, I only bought small quantities of that. And so how do you sniff out a scam? It can be difficult. Over time, you see accumulating evidence, like I mentioned earlier. That's a good indication that something's a scam. If they got one dev and one website and one web white paper, and they have no business case, they have no use case, they have no product, it's just a web page of the white paper, well, you might want to keep an eye on that. Apologize for the noise uh, for the live stream. That's why I got the door shut. Um, I'm in Hawaii, by the way. That's Hawaii back there. Beautiful here. Just got here. Still a little jet lagged. Anyway, back to the scams. The whole point is keep an eye out for accumulating evidence that something could be a scam. When you see it, call it out. I would like to prevent all those little crap scams on Ethereum from occurring on Cardano. So let's make sure we nip it in the bud that whenever someone comes to Cardano to work on the ecosystem, they're certainly welcome to. And there's a lot of professional businesses out there. But we also have to keep in mind that the whole thing with, you know, one dev with one token, with one website, with no product and no business use case. Well, they can suck up money. I know because I've lost real money, smaller amounts of it on those Ethereum ERC20 tokens that turned into nothing. You don't believe me? Go check it out. There are thousands of ERC20s out there. It's like a debris field. You know, there's, just, there's nothing left of them. Um, some people have good intentions. It's impossible to figure out somebody's intentions, but they still end up being a scam because it just simply collapses. It's not my problem. My problem is how do I protect myself and how do I help the little guys like you and me, the traders and the holders? Because uh, like I mentioned earlier, it's very hard for the corporation to call something out as a scam, but individuals can do it. Um, I would say be careful with, well, screw it. You don't, you don't have to be careful. If you think it's a scam, call it a scam. Anyway, um, I'm going to, I'll, I'll make it a website, Digital Fortress Online. I have a link to it on this and I'll put a scam tab there. So if scams develop, if you see accumulating evidence and please make sure you have accumulating evidence and a little bit of research. Sometimes I get people on here saying, you need to do more research. Dude, I have a life. Okay. All right. I can't do all the research. You can't get into people's books. You can't get into their heads. But if something looks like a scam and smells like a scam, there's probably a scam. Uh, let's see who's dialed in on chat. Uh, James Kelly, what about this scam, Emergo, uh, HK.io being expired? I don't know, James. That's a good uh, piece of accumulating evidence, something you might want to think about. Uh, Redman asks, what's new with Emergo HK? Redman, I don't know. I don't know. I just call like see it. I don't like the name Emergo getting dragged in the trash by Emergo HK because I love Emergo. That's a great company. They're awesome. Okay. Emergo HK. I hope they, uh, I don't know what they're doing. That's all I can say. It just doesn't look right. I called it out in a different video. Helga says hi from Norway. All right. Hey, that's all I got for you today. Again, you know, I'm looking out for a little guy. I can do more of these videos. If I see something that looks scammy, I'm going to do video on it. That's all I can do. 
You know, if I see accumulating evidence that something is BS, I'm calling it, period. I'm not going to let new people come into the ecosystem and lose little bits of money here and little bits of money there. It adds up over time. You know, we work hard and we're trying to invest and we're trying to make a new thing work. And part of that is learning how to identify the scams and passing that on to the new people. Don't make the new people learn the hard way. Help them out. We'll get more new people if we help them and they know, oh, there is a scam prevention system or scam reduction because there's no centralized entity out there that's going to reimburse you. There's no centralized entity out there that's going to hold them accountable. And I think one of the biggest problems in crypto is a lack of accountability. You see all these people out there and they say, oh, so-and-so shut down and they disappeared. Yeah, but where's the accountability? Did they have to pay people back? In some cases, they did. On the bigger organizations that were legit and they, and they went south, those ones were held accountable. Small organizations on the blockchain, you can't hold them accountable. It's almost impossible. They're anywhere on the planet. Uh, they fall under any group of laws. So the only way to hold a, a scammer accountable is to call them out as a scam so that they don't suck up other people's money. Uh, Billy Ferguson says, thank you for keeping up, bro. Sure thing, buddy. I'm looking out for you. I'm looking out for the little guys. I'm not, uh, I've got no corporate interests. I've got no clients I'm trying to back up here. Y'all see a scam. Let me know, but I can't be like the guy that collects all the scam data guy. Maybe start a Reddit or a subreddit or something and say, hey, if you see a scam, dump it all here in this Reddit. And if it bubbles up to the top, um, maybe I'll put it on the video, I guess. So that's one thing I can do. Uh, James Kelly says, uh, last comment here, and I got to go because um, I got work to do. So uh, James Kelly says, it's easy to make claims, but few will put in the effort for their token to work. Yes, sir. That is correct, James. It's easy to copy and paste a white paper. It's easy to make a website. I made a website. Really? Okay. Anybody can make a website. Um, some of these uh, blockchain technology, it'll be easy to deploy a token on. So in that point, it will be easy to deceive people. So the only thing we can do is look out for each other and watch for that accumulating evidence that something looks like a scam. You're not going to find hard evidence. You know, we have Interpol out there and there's massive police resources to like run down scams. You're not going to be able to do it, man. You're not. It's not going to happen. You can only call them out. Hey, guys, thanks for dialing in. Uh, if you if you like these live feeds, let me down. Let me know down in the comment section. You can hit the uh, like and subscribe button. There's my little obligation caveat at the end. Y'all have a great day. Thanks for your comments. Appreciate it. Bye bye.